Obviously the velocity is much higher now, the 33% or whatever it is. Um, so we have to look at how the piston moves. All right, welcome back guys to another intake series. And today we're gonna break down the math and lots of questions. We had tons of questions again, really, really impressive. Guys are really starting to understand it. There's some people that missed the point and I'm gonna cover some of those areas um, just to get into the fundamentals a little bit more because uh, some people are getting a little confused. And we're gonna cover some um, topics on runner length and uh, we had some people talking about low RPM, uh, low velocity engines and I'll show you how to get around that for so someone who's trying to target specific RPM. We're also going to break down uh, also wave cycles. I want to go through that again with different cylinder options and the separation and the degrees as well as we want to talk about the difference between RPM and piston speed because a lot of people focus on RPM but not realizing that piston speed is really the true indicator of velocity in the port because a 7,000 RPM small block with a three inch stroke is very, very different to a, the exact same combo with a four inch stroke. Obviously the velocity is much higher now, the 33% or whatever it is. Um, so we have to look at how the piston moves. This is why I've designed uh, piston velocity calculators for Einstein uh, motors to help uh, establish this and understand it a little bit better. This clip is from Induction Secrets Part 4. Head over to Bain Racing on YouTube for the complete episode. 